Hey folks, welcome back to some more Fate's Grand Order. On our last episode, we held an audience with the great Sun King Ozymandias and learned that he possesses the holy grail of this singularity. Heck, he even treated us to supper after we froze down before sending us off to the Holy Land with supplies. Oh, and the Vinci Chan made us a new rat that almost got hijacked by some beasties. But details, details. So, with that we did bit in man, let us continue henceforth to the Dune of Dawn, or rather, to the east. Okay, dog, so there's sabers and riders once again, so this time, I'ma bring this Atalante once again. Section 3, to the east. The first half of it, in fact. We've left the sandstorm, and with the buggy running properly, this is rather pleasant. By the way, are you tired from driving? If you are, I could swap with you. I'll never give up the wheel! Time for a player sub bash? No, my wheel! Don't take this away from me, false choice! I bet you it's false choice. No, it is false choice. Of course it is. Please don't say that. You should go keep Da Vinci company in the back seat. I'll take the wheel while you do. I'll pull off a magnificent jump from that hill. Oh, switching drivers. Yes, good. It's dangerous to drive for more than an hour straight. Would you like a meal or a massage? We've also got some cold juice. This thing's too convenient. Phil! Phil! Yeah, because this is supposed to be only made out of wood! Of course! You should already know I'm always aware of what's going on. I'll put together any order with a plume. More importantly, we're almost out of the desert. You can take the mask off whenever you like. The mana density changes past that big sand dune. We'll no doubt be able to see what this era's original landscape looks like. That's a little scary. You seem to be having fun! Really? If so, my show of courage must be pretty good. The Mona Lisa mustn't lose her smile after all. I need to smile no matter how uneasy I might be feeling. But then again, I suppose my worries will abate soon. Once we're out of Egyptian territory, we should be able to contact Romani again. I suppose the doctor's worried too. I suppose the doctor's on the edge of his seat too. <laughs> I'm sure. But to be honest, I think this was good. Romani should have gotten a little break thanks to this, or he's heavily stressed out. He's hardly slept a wink since we started the Grand Order. Phil! Phil! The doctor isn't sleeping? Even if he's just on carbs? Now, I'm not being sassy. He's a good boy. Of course! Caldea lost over 60 staff in that incident. How did you think such a shortage was being filled? Romani's job doesn't just involve healthcare. Operating the remaining equipment, maintaining Sheba, controlling Caldea C's generators, planning operations, handling ray shifts. On top of that, taking care of the mental health of the staff that break down each day, though that's technically his main job. Since there are no external supplies, the eternal staff have to somehow manage. It would take a genius to do all of these things alone, but Romani isn't one, nor is he a hero experience. He's an ordinary human, and when ordinary humans have that much work, they sacrifice time and stamina. My boy! When that isn't enough, they push themselves further, using modern medicine to increase mental acuity or ignore fatigue. I didn't know. Also, Caldea communications aren't ordinary transmissions. Singularities are both realities and unexplored possibilities. Simply being here is enough to make your existence ambiguous. You didn't exist in the 13th century after all. From the point of view of the world itself, you're an unknown. That's why Caldea has to constantly verify your existence to make sure your meaning as a person doesn't vanish. If I start find that the human name to Dave is real, your existence at the reshift destination is secured. Singularities are uncertain. Even if your body exists, some value could deviate from your original self. 
it's possible that this is a hypothetical, slightly different version of yourself could get projected onto Chaldeus. If that happens, you can't return to reality in 2018. That's why they constantly monitor you in the command room. But it's almost 2019! They check all numerical values, and if something appears to be deviating even slightly, they return it to normal. This is a job where the slightest disparity, the slightest sign, can't be overlooked. So Romani and the entire command room staff give everything they have to support your journey. But Dr. Roman, what he did to Mash... Nah, I I I'ma do a triple dot. Ah, oh, what he said before the ray shift. Right, Romani is still an accomplice in Chaldea C's experiments. For that, you could be angry with him and have your doubts. When I was summoned to Chaldea, the first thing I did was denounce Marisbury and Romani. Why am I so angry and scornful? That goes without saying, because ordinary people shouldn't pretend to be geniuses. Marisbury? Oh, you didn't know? Marisbury Animosphere, father of Ogamari, and former director of Chaldea. Phil! Sorry for the sun break. There are signs of enemies ahead, master. They're acting like a wall to block our path. We need to eliminate them to cross the sand dune. They dare interrupt a our big jump! Mash! Shield out punch it! No, I want it my big jump! Yes, master! We'll have to get them out of the way of our pleasant drive! Yeah! Cause I wasn't allowed to do the leap! Of course! Gosh dang it! Oh, some dragons! I mean, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Wyverns. <laughs> I mean, they're both draconic, you know? Okay, ducks. No good cards to build up in P gauge this time, though. Well, I can always get one dragon, though. Oh, oh crap. Okay, I was on Jack. That's fine. My little munchkin can take it for the new- Oh, a brave chain with arts. I could always go for an arts chain, but I want to kill a dragon this turn. Guaranteed. Well, I was also building up a lot of gauge, plus stars. I mean, that, that, that's my NP gauge already felt. <laughs> nicer, nicer. Okay. Oh, well, an Atalante can start building up stuff too. Just don't crit right now, Jack, please. Let Atalanta get some. Oh! Okay, that was really close. There we go. And we're still sustaining the stars, which is good. No weapons. Oh, these are tankier ones, though. Hmm, I guess I can get away with using a Noble Phantasm of Jacks. And then start building up more MP gauge. Oh, and I can start getting more MP gauge with Jack again. Either for means of building up some stars or just getting mashes up as well. I think I'll just build up some stars though. Just on the off chance. Or I could just get Phil NPK again. Sure, why not? Random crits, ahoy! It's you again! Yeah, bugger! Uh, I guess I'm gonna stun it. And try and build up some gauge. So I wanna get Atalanti's NP ready before doing an NP chain. Yes. Gonna take a wee while though, unless oh arch chain, that's helpful. That's very helpful because I could just do this. I could do this as well. Oh. 
There we go, that'll be our NP gauge sword eat as well. Hey, nice and nice. Okay. I don't think I'll die this turn, though. But that's what it is. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, dude, he's the trick of damage, though. Like last time. Oh, uh, close? But not quite. Lots of stars again, though. Oh gosh, that thing is buffing up. At least it didn't cry even after all those buffs. We take those. And I think it's dead this turn, anywho. Definitely. Whoop. Hey, we did good again. Okay. Awesome dragon fangs and a spirit root. All things that I need. For the future. Okay, so what's the next one gonna be a bit? I guess the second half? Oh dang. That place is all ruined. Wastelands of Death? Has assassins. Oh, so I guess it's time to bring out some casters, huh? Okay. So what casters should I bring? Hmm. That Neo Chris is tempting. Shema has the event craft essence, but I'm gonna assume it's just gonna be a swarm of them again. Then again, if I just want big damage, I could just bring the Halloween Elizabeth again. Which I think I will. I quite like the way it looks. Okay, so we just need to get Nursery Rhyme and Tamamo in the front. So, where is my Nursery Rhyme? There she is. And then do this. Remove that. Remove that to put onto Nursery Rhyme. Do, 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 do. Filter, not selected. Formal craft, because I'm not really going for crits. And then I'll just put something on you, so then you have something. Uh, I guess this. Why not? Coolio! We're all set up now. Section 3, to the east, 2 out of 2! Okay, we're going across the sand dune. Everyone, brace for landing after the jump. Going full throttle. Let's fly, senpai. Ugh. This is the 13th century Middle East. <sighs> it's looking worse for wear. <laughs> That's for sure. Air temperature 48 degrees Celsius, relative humidity 0%, atmospheric mana density 0.3 milligrams. This is awful. This isn't an environment for humans to live in. The desert sandstorm was rough, but this is just as harsh. It's exactly as I expected too. As you expected? What do you mean? This is the king of mages work. He created a singularity by disturbing the foundation of humanity. As a result, human history has become unstable. Everything up to where the King of Mages crosses history is incinerated. Conversely, I mean singularities themselves will save from the waves of humanity incineration. But if the foundation of humanity is this disturbed, even singularities would be no exception. My conclusion is that this land will be incinerated in time. That's the reason why King Ozymandias doesn't use the Holy Grail. It makes sense, right? In the end, this land would fall to ruin even without using the Grail. That's terrible. What exactly happened in this era? Oh no, we're surrounded! There! Third! They have food! And watcher! And appetite and woman! <laughs> they must have come running from the Sun King's manning beasts! 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for surviving for me. Kill, kill, kill. Meat, meat, meat. No way. These people are human. They aren't servants or illusions. Mosh, Dave, hit them with non-lethal blows, but only if you could safely do so. They've partially turned into ghouls. At this point, they're finished as human beings. They can only live through hate, envy, and harming others now. They likely won't survive for long either. That's the kind of place this era has become. We've come here to fix that, to reject such an error. To do that, you must wield your sword, master. The time has come to discard your innocence. Oh, don't, don't worry. That innocence has been discarded long ago. Oh, so long ago. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, they look like gooey gooeys. Soulless men. Hey, we're going our straight to start things off with. Nay complaints from me. <laughs> one down. Don't think the other one will go kapat though. Nah. But building up NP gauge is certainly going to be worth it because, uh, all the AOE. <laughs> Give me more gauge! Oh, a crit too! Oh boy, a whole bunch. Do I have enough? I don't think I do. Ah. The battery isn't as big for Nursery Rhyme. You don't have a battery, right? Just stars. Buster, yeah. Nay, battery for you, I'm afraid. Maybe we'll get some stars to maybe accelerate it, though. Shame, I probably won't be able to kill any of them because no Buster cards, though. <laughs> well, at least I can build up some gauge. Oh, no, I can kill one. There we go. Oh. Oh, they didn't hit Nurse Rem twice. That would have been a noble phantasm. Oh well. Sometimes it'd be like that. Actually, wait. Mm, would Buster and her arts be enough? I doubt it, but we'll just do this. I could have been. And that's an overkill crit. I've got two noble fantasms for the last wave, anywho. If need be. I guess if we really want to recharge it. I mean, you never know. There might be a really sturdy ghoul. Let's let's see. Eh, no, they're, they're, they're just dead. Okay. I gotcha. I don't even need to use this buster buff because I think Nursery Rhyme still will find us alone. Won't be sufficient enough, but... Who knows? Yeah, they're definitely dead. Okay. <laughs> what did they drop? Because we've got some stuff from them. Is it just going to be XP cards? Chains and gems and one XP card. I'll take the chain. And chain, of course. I mean, any materials is good to me. I've yet to use chains, actually. Oh, that hurts. Damn it. Damn you. I finally found some good meat. Damn it, you scum. Why don't you just die, damn it? Huh. The battle's over. I tried my best to use non-lethal force. Most of them ran off from the plane, but about 10% of them continued attacking. This is what happens when they still have a brain to think, but the only way to stop themselves becomes death. Facing opponents like that has the effect of turning one heartless in as well. I'm impressed, Dave. You didn't kill a single one. Although they all fainted in agony. I'd say it's 2020. Well, you've still kept it together. That's pretty significant too. I have nothing to scold you about. But we need to get moving. 
There could be more of them working about. By the way, can we have leave some foods? Hmm, did you hear that? What do you think, Mash? I personally oppose it, but what about you? Yes, I fall in favor. That's two votes against one, Da Vinci. Very well. It only provides a brief peace of mind, but one simple warrior can shine a light back into one's life. Take it heartless, ladies and gentlemen. You'll likely have forgotten by tomorrow, but consider this half a day of relief. Oh, yeah. What a... What a... Move! Let's void! Let's void! I want the harness! You all come after me! Okay! Time to withdraw! Everyone, get in the Sphinx with me while we still have the chance! Boo! Hold on! Are you going east? Don't tell me! To the Holy City? Yes! To the Holy City! Is there a problem? It's the only city around here, right? Yeah, the Holy City's the only city. The Land of Dreams, where they have everything. The city where the Great Lion King, who massacred every crusader trying to burn this world down, resides. So, the crusaders really have been eradicated, but the Saracens have also been driven out? And the Lion King again? I thought it was merely, merely a rash remark from the Sun King, but apparently he really does exist. But someone called the Lion King... Hmm, this is getting even more complicated. Be careful, beauty makes things all the more dreadful. Don't go near the walls. If you don't want to die, get back to the desert. Okay, thank you for the advice. Boo! Boo! Interesting, so we fed them and they were willing to talk. After bonking them, of course. Hey, two more nodes for the east. Why not? More girly girls. You know what? Let's bring Da Vinci. This time. I mean, she's also a caster, right? So, I see no reason as to not do so. Plus, we've yet to actually use her. Oh my. Sun's going down. Thank goodness! I finally got you on the line! Hey, Roman! How's it been? Are you okay? Did any unexpected accidents happen again this time? Ah, oh, good old Dr. Roman! Oh. Yes, this is the kind of entertainment we expect from him. Anyway, this isn't the time for a casual chit-chat. I'm glad you're safe. We were constantly able to see Dave's signal, but we couldn't establish a connection at all. Sorry we couldn't provide any support for two days. What's the situation over there? Right, I'll report the details about what happened so far. After the race shift, we... Transition. So that's what happened. Egypt from the BC era as in the 13th century Middle East? No wonder the transmissions failed. We don't have time to recalibrate, so Egyptian will be our weak point moving forward. Still, King Ozymandias. Huh, again with the troublemakers showing up. But we should have reliable allies this time. Ozymandias mentioned a Lion King, right? There's no mistake that he's Richard I. If King Lionheart is there, we should be able to deal with the Sun King. You should meet up with the Crusaders and try to convince Richard to... What's with that face? Why does it look like you're trying to hold back laughter, Dave? Did I say something funny? <laughs> it's time for Da Vinci to step in. Little old man, you wanted to hear about unexpected accidents, yes? Then be happy! The Crusaders have already been wiped out! What? Hold on! I need to say that again! What? Isn't that shocking? It's Richard I! King Richard I of England, known as Richard the Lionheart for his deeds in the Third Crusades. The name Lionheart comes from his bravery. Even enemy leaders praised him as the greatest king of all. <laughs> anyway, I'll send the data from Chaldea. The picture's worth a thousand words. You will know once you look at the Singularity map. See? There's a big say in the Singularity. There's no mistake that the Crusaders have occupied it. Since there's that's there, it must mean that the Crusaders have taken the Holy Land. This isn't historically correct, but that's how it is now. Yet, you're saying that the Crusaders were wiped out? Then who exactly could be? Oi, I've picked up traces of life. There's a powerful servant signature very close to you. Understood. Stopping the Sphinx mobile. What should we do, master? Let's hide and watch. Stick, stick. 
Sticky, sticky. Oh, it's the him. This is it. Escaping with this many of our brethren is impossible. How humiliating and regrettable. It all ends here. I'm sad. I'm so very sad, old man of the mountain. If you were alone, escaping this dilemma would be easy. However, you have accepted this fate. The frightened people of the Holy Land follow you, and you remain behind to protect them. If you do not protect the waffles, you suffer the loss of what is worthy. I find that far too sad. Oh. That's an assassin class servant and an archer class servant, perhaps? They seem to be hostile to each other. Behind the assassin are about 40 civilians. The archer, on the other hand, is alone. Oh, um, master? I can't stop trembling when I look at the archer. It hurts my heart. All right, let's fall back. Let's go help the assassin. No! You mustn't move a single step! They'll notice! If they notice, it's over! We'd be killed by that archer! Okay, okay, calm down! That's a gift! A gift? Who are they? You say I have a worth the name? Indeed, even with my bow, capturing you would be troublesome. Then we'll make a deal, if your sense of chivalry is true. I offer you my life, in exchange, allow the people to go free. How noble of you, but what exactly do you mean by allowing them to go free? I am not permitted to withdraw my most sincere apologies. I cannot leave this place until I capture all of you. Then I will accept your right arm and legs in exchange for my head. For one day, your legs will not move and your right arm will be held in check. My head may be pitiful, but it should be a good match as compensation. What? What? Wait, I cannot allow that. If I do, you will. I take that as acceptance. It's so your pardon. Run, my brethren. Cast armed in the east will accept you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. To suffer one's own head, it would be unbecoming of me to do anything but fulfill my side of the agreement. Well done. Very impressive. However... What? Huh? Why have I... What? When did I fall? Wait, what? My head... It... Oh, no! Well then. Oh, how sad I am. I did say I cannot allow it. And to force me not to move a single step. Such conceit. I was so soon it failed not to be wedged string. Plucking his string creates a balance of sound that severs my enemies. I cut these bags of flesh with a single breath, without taking a single step, without even aiming. Oh no! Help! Help! Lovely job, Lee. Catch up all over the shop! Foolish my old man of the mountain. You should have said instead, do not move a single finger. How terrible! The, uh, those people aren't even resisting! And do it! He'll kill us too if we go out there now! I'm not exaggerating when I say that Archer is more powerful than the servants we've come across so far! We must hide until he leaves! Even you can tell he's no friend, Roy! Yes, that's exactly right, I'm sure. Oh, I want a bunk up! I see no survivors. Everyone had their heads cut off. I've got a grasp of the situation. That archer! How merciless can you get? They seem to be from opposing sides, but still, to cut down civilians like that. It was just an outright massacre, that's what it was! What reason was there for it? Or was he just a homicidal maniac? Oh. We could speculate later. Dave, our turns come up. Curse you! Curse you! This resentment, I cannot die even in death! Such an experience! To misread the cruelty of the enemy! I cannot forgive them! I cannot! This regret! Who could dispel such regret? The assassin's body! Is this a vengeful ghost? No, it's a shadow servant! Perhaps due to some affinity for this land, its powerful grudge has remained and animated itself. If left alone, it will turn to a monster that attacks people indiscriminately. Before that happens, Dave, let's 
get a bash. I mean, more so, got it. Let's go mash. I, I am fumbling that reading comprehension. Indeed. Let's put it to rest. Yes, as a knight, I pray the soul finds peace. Let's bop it. Gosh, part of the reason why I've just been fumbling my words though is because it's kind of like the whole I just want to see as much as I can deal that's going on. So I'm kind of speeding through it a little bit. Okay, so what skills do you have? Inherit Wisdom. Yeah, we know what these are again, right? Yep, just double checking. Okay, because I actually want to see your Noble Phantasm this time. Map a ghost. Oh yeah, they have garage. That might be a little bit annoying. Just a wee tad though. Oh no no, I want to do this. There we go. That way we might be able to bonk two of them. Noise. Okay, a beefier one. Oh, Da Vinci Chan Brave Chain, huh? Let's see what this is about. one more of these ghosts and then hopefully get enough MP charge for Da Vinci Chan because I really want to see her Nova Phantasm. Hey, Arch Chain 2. Okay, we're fine then. Because now we have the Noble Phantasm primed and ready. Just to see what it's about. Right, so what's up next? Hello there. My buffs? No! How long does this last? Oh, okay, just one turn. I think? Well, that's fine, I suppose. You can't even do a big old buff. I guess I'll just stun it for a turn. Yeah. Because it says one left, so I assume it's one turn. Or maybe it's just one buff. That was a rocket punch! Holy moly. No, I think it's just one in general. Yeah, just one in general. Okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So I'll just do whatever, I suppose, huh? Just use Morph to get rid of it then. Unfortunately. Uh, okay, I'll just use Morph again to get rid of it. Uh, no, sell modification because I'm not going to get many crit stars. Wait, do I have... Oh, I have a Nurture and Brave Chain. I... Now nah, we'll still just do an MP chain. Yeah, I think we still get away with it to an extent. Oh, it's arts too. Nice, nice, nice. You know, I kind of want to see if it's normal speed. Although this MP chain may take a while if I do that, but oh well, I suppose. Holy moly, Darcy Rhymes is really slow with default speed. <laughs> oh, 
ランハカセ、ホクオノタイシン、ジエノカジツ、ワガエチ、ワガバンノワ、アラユルエチオリオガセル、モノウニベルサーレ。Wow! That's all for flash! <laughs> Okay, let's see how long this thing takes to attack. Oh gosh, it's got AoE! I guess it's just kind of an assassin version of a dragon without fights. Oh my, that's a crit too. Okay, let's actually go back to normal speed in the future too. Um, Yeah, I don't really have much in the way of high damage things left right now. I could always use this though. Oh, this is going to be so slow. We'll, we'll do that next turn. Yeah. I don't think anything bad will happen here. So Buster. Arts Buster, I think? Because I still think this will have a bit harder than usual. Shame no, we got no nursery room cards, though. Oh, my buffs! Okay. Will that get rid of my ability to get the MP gauge, though, I wonder? Let's find out. No, good. Alright, so I can always work towards that. I'll probably get next turn, in fact, so I guess we'll just do this. Shame is gonna have his gauge filled, though. Well, maybe we'll get our gauge filled? Oh gosh, crits. Ugh. Oh gosh, crits indeed! Indeed, we dadly. Mm. I think I'm about to lose at least a couple of my units. Because that gets nullified. <laughs> no! I could have brought a single target caster. Probably should have. What did I have in the back again? Just double check. What? Chloe, that. What I might just do, actually, is swap out Da Vinci for MASH. Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Then we're gonna morph. Now, this should take up. Yeah, there we go, okay. Then we'll give you the invincibility. Okay, okay, yeah. And it just on the off chance of single target. I know it doesn't really matter for single target at that point, huh? And eh, we'll just do this anyway. Because maybe the healing will be enough. I don't know if I'll have Pierce Invincibility. I hope it doesn't. That would really suck. <laughs> Forgetful this. Okay, it's just AoE. Oof! And it gets rid of buffs. Okay, calm down there, sir! You booked my Kohai! Is that not enough for you? Well, uh... Time to hope this is enough, huh? No Brave Chain, though, so, uh... Yeah, it might go well, though. Come on, you wee munchkin! Oh. Mm, not quite. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I forgot you had Foxy's landing. <laughs> I was like, so glad we're quiet there. I'm like, eh, Farmer Craft and Foxy's landing boosted. Mm, pretty good. Oh, one Ghost Lantern. That's a Void Dust. 
Nice! But dang, that was a lengthy belt, wasn't it? Spirit Origin card destroyed. That should do it. Ugh! Ugh! Such a shameful display! All the way to the very end! I thank you for putting me to rest. Unnamed servant. If you still have kindness to offer, please bury my brethren. It seems fighting really was the only choice. Laugh at my inexperienced custom. <gasps> this ends that situation. Master um Yeah, let's take a little detour. Yes, we not we might not be able to do it well, but we could try to give it some sort of meaning. Oh. <laughs> and that was the one that we asked if they had a good day or not. But yeah, I think that should be our ending point for now, given the length. Oh, but it's tempting to finish it up. Should I make this one a bit lengthier? No, 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 no. I might, I might reach the hour mark. So, uh, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Fate Grand Order. And I'll see you all next time as we continue on our quest to fix up this singularity. Ta-ta for now.